Hi, Mark Gordon with GoldenTicker.com on Monday, May the 14th, 2012. And uh, with the Gold, Silver, and Spider Report, this is the GLD, the Gold ETF, down 1.5% today. An ugly day, another gap down uh, after the weekend. More troubles in Europe and Greece and all that. Uh, JP Morgan losses, all these horrible things. Anyways, uh, uh, taking uh, the wind out of uh, a lot of things, including the gold, breaking down below this uh, trend line here that had been in place for quite a while. It was a downsloping trend line. Uh, below all the key moving averages, no reason to like gold at all. We had a distribution day, in other words, a day of heavy selling on the way down. Um, down below the gray areas here, the Bollinger Band, uh, just uh, just ugly. Um, down here is our next point of resistance, 148.27, the previous low. So hopefully that will uh, offer up some kind of a, of a resistance uh, area for the GLD. Uh, scrolling down to these uh, indicators real quick. I use these as, as secondary indicators. Uh, we are oversold. Uh, the stochastics are down below 20, both of them. So uh, that's uh, possibly a good sign that uh, selling uh, may be exhausting itself. But no reason to like gold for the uh, short or intermediate term uh, trade, even though the long term trade for gold is still to the upside. And uh, same story for silver. This is the SLV, the silver ETF, down 2.35 percent, two and a third percent on a pickup in volume. More distribution coming in, lower low, uh, down below uh, its uh, uh, lower trend line here, down below all the key moving averages. The 50 just crossed the 100-day line. Uh, they call that a black cross. Not good. So no reason to like silver as well. Next point of, of uh, support will come in at 2565 2565 ugly ugly charts here oversold we are oversold um, so uh, possibly get a bounce here uh, maybe selling will exhaust itself one of these days hopefully it's just been a horrible uh, couple of weeks for the precious metals moving on now to stocks this is the SPY the um, uh, S&P 500 down 1.1% uh, uh, losing control of its 100-day moving average on a pickup in volume, so distribution coming in as the SPY loses support and closes below the key 100-day moving average, which had provided some support for the last uh, several trading sessions. Thought we were going to get a bounce off of that and make an assault back up on the 50-day moving average, but no dice here. Um, ugly, ugly uh, day for the S&P 500 as well. Looking at the NASDAQ composite, uh, down over 1% as well, losing its 100-day moving average as well, which su provided support for about uh, four sessions. Not today, however, going down here to challenge this lower trend line. Less volume, though. Uh, volume has been tapering off uh, the last several uh, trading sessions here. Actually, we have four days of decreasing volume, so um, possibly some selling abating on the NASDAQ, which has been the leader. It has all the big uh, you know, high-growth stocks in it. Uh, oversold on the stochastic, so possibly uh, going to get some stabilization here. Uh, let's let's hope. Looking now at the big big caps, uh, down one percent. The Dow here um, losing control of its 100-day moving average as well. Volume uh, less than Friday session, just about average. Uh, so uh, all the indexes down today. Uh, all the metals down. The gold and the silver, just not a pretty day. I did want to point out that uh, gold uh, is uh, at an inflection point here. Um, this is the uh, monthly uh, chart of gold. You can see that we've been in a nice, nice uptrend here uh, for many, many years. It actually goes back to 2001 here. Um, using this blue line mostly as your support area, this is the 10-month moving average. The 20-month moving average has provided also some support, especially back here in 0405 where it used that line to bounce up off of. We're sitting right on that line right now. And uh, actually just a little bit below it. Uh, this line's coming in at uh, 1569, 1569. We closed today at uh, 1561. So pretty close to it. This is a point where if we lose control of this line, it's going to be a trip probably down here uh, to this uh, uh, black dot line, the 40-month moving average, which is coming in at 1325, 1325. Um, so, Let's watch gold carefully here. Um, this would be a place where um, long-term traders would come in and support uh, prices at this point. If not, uh, things could uh, deteriorate very rapidly as they did uh, in uh, late uh, 08. Uh, once they uh, uh, breached it, uh, they pretty much fell down quickly. Uh, so let's keep an eye on the gold. So thanks for listening and good luck trading.